Can you believe those two? Putin and that old Queen Elizabeth, they think they can mock me Donald J. Trump at the G20 and tell me I'm not fit to run in 2024? They'll see my wrath, those idiots. It's not personal, Donald. Just international banter. You know, the kind that doesn't end in a Twitter feud. What? Hell no, I don't take this lightly, Barack. No one, and I mean no one embarrasses me in front of the world's leaders. They're going to regret this. Hey, Joe, you hear that? Someone's watching us during dinner. Must be quite the feast. Absolutely, Donald. Looks like our antics are spicing up someone's mealtime. Well, I hope they're not choking on their food from laughing too hard. Agreed. Shout out to Clixy Gold for tuning in during dinner. Glad we could add some flavor to your mealtime entertainment. Now I've got a little task for you. Hit that like button, subscribe, and here's the kicker who's our oldest viewer. Drop a comment below and let's uncover some hidden legends. Oh, come on, Donald. Don't be such a baby. It was a joke, bro. Lighten up. Anyway, Biden, what's he so mad about? I missed the fireworks. What exactly did Liz and Vlad say to get under your skin this much? I was too busy daydreaming about piloting the new MQ-9 Reaper. Ha 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 ha. Oh, eight, you're going to love this, Barack. Queen Elizabeth told the entire assembly that Trump's too out of shape to run for president. Said the only running he'd be doing is toward the nearest fast food joint. And then Putin chimes in saying I'd have a better shot at winning the 2024 election than Trump because at least I can jog around the block without calling for a golf cart. Wow, that's harsh. But come on, Donald, you've dished it out before. Can't you take a joke? I can take a joke, Barack. What are you saying? There's a line. And they crossed it. It's one thing to spar over policy, but mocking my lovely body, that's low. It's war. What's the plan, Trump? Going to challenge them to a sit-up contest or maybe a race up the Air Force One stairs? Ha ha ha. Easy, Joe. Let's not give him ideas. We don't need international incidents over bruised egos. Besides, Donald, just get over it. They are just two old bozos. So what's the grand strategy, Donald? You're not actually plotting what I think you're plotting, right? We're not in the assassination business today, buddy. You know me too well, Joe. But yeah, that's exactly what's going on in this beautiful brain of mine. Putin and the Queen better watch their backs. Hold up. Assassination plans? We might have had our issues with Vlad, but Queen Elizabeth? That's a whole new level of crazy, even for you, Donald. Oh, come on, Barack. It's all in the spirit of political theater. Plus, it's not like we haven't tangled with the Russians before. There's a fine line between tangling and sparking an international crisis, Donald. And besides the British, really? You want the sass on our tails? They've got enough dental issues without us giving them a real bite. What the f*** do you mean? Those guys have really big teeth. If one could cough, it would be enough to bite their chests. That's so racist even for me, bro. Yeah, and as much as their accents can be a bit much and their tea a tad too weak, I'd rather not have every Brit with a stiff upper lip and a license to kill after us. I'm not backing down. They started it, and I'm going to finish it. Putin, the queen, they're all fair game in the art of the deal, or should I say the art of the duel. So what's next? We divert to Moscow, swing by Buckingham Palace, maybe send a strongly worded letter via carrier pigeon? First we land, I need to swing by Trump Tower, then we leave the plane being fueled. There's a certain, let's call it a prop, that I need to pick up, essential for the plan. What? Your superhero, Kate, going to swoop in and save the day, Trump style? As long as that prop isn't a Twitter phone, Donald, we've had enough tweets to last a lifetime. Just wait and see. The art of surprise is one of my many talents. Besides, if we're going to do this, we might as well do it with a bit of flair. You know, I've always had a soft spot for the queen. She's a real class act. If you're set on this madcap plan of yours, Donald, at least promise me it'll be quick and painless. The world would be a little less bright without her. Barack, 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 always the sentimentalist. But don't worry, if it comes to that, we'll make sure it's so swift she'll be chatting with Angel Gabriel before she even knows what's happened. It's practically a public service ushering her into paradise. But how do we know she's heaven bound? For all we know, there could be a detour down south if you catch my drift. Sleepy Joe, that's way above my pay grade and yours too. We're in the business of politics, not celestial logistics. Let's just stick to the plans we can control, like not getting ourselves thrown into the Tower of London for treason or worse, ending up as the lead story on every tabloid from here to Timbuktu. Fear not, gentlemen. When you're with Trump, you're always in the headlines for the right reasons. And as for our dear queen, consider this a deluxe express ticket to the pearly gates courtesy of yours truly. Well, if we're handing out express tickets to the afterlife, can I nominate a couple of my less favorite congressmen? Just kidding. Unless? Let's maybe steer clear of divine interventions, Joe. I think we've got enough on our plates with international diplomacy and avoiding World War III. True, but just imagine the ratings, Barack. Imagine the legacy. Trump, the man who sent royalty to rub elbows with the angels. Only you, Donald, could turn an international incident into a branding opportunity. Yeah, but we'll play it by the book, for now. But I'm telling you, if we pull this off, it'll be huge. The biggest thing since they put a man on the moon. As long as we keep our feet on the ground and our heads out of the clouds, I think we'll manage just fine. But Donald, maybe let's stick to golf courses and boardrooms for our next big adventure, huh? We will know all that after this is done. Seriously, why the disrespect, though? I've been keeping an eye on Putin, and let me tell you, he's got it out for me. He's a thorn in my side. If I'm back in the Oval Office, how am I supposed to deal with Russia with him around? It's clear he has to go. Ah, and who said the presidency's got your name on it, Donald? 
The game's all set, and the winner's pretty obvious. Spoiler alert, it's me. Donald, 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 this time around, I think you're the underdog. You're the lone Republican wolf here. And let's be real, the odds aren't looking too favorable for you. Oh, come on, you guys always underestimate me. Remember 2016? It'll be like that all over again. One moment you're laughing, the next bam, President Trump back in action, like he never left. That'll only happen if you pull another rabbit out of your hat. And let's be clear, we're all watching closely this time. No funny business, Donald, I got my eyes on you. At this point, I might just throw my vote to JFK's nephew. At least that would be a vote for stability, not like choosing between you two characters. No, no, Barack, don't waste your vote. Come on, you know you want to make America great again. Stick with what works, right? Works? If by works you mean turning every international meeting into a reality TV episode, then sure, you're your own kind of successful. Hey, ratings are ratings, Joe. People love a show and I give them what they want. Plus, I've got plans, big plans. You'll see, once we're at the tower, I'll unveil the next big thing. As long as it's not another steak brand or a university, I'm mildly curious. But remember, Donald, this isn't reality TV. It's reality, period. And in this reality, we've got rules, checks and balances, and, you know, democracy. Democracy TV, it's all the same in the end, right? People choose what they want, and they want Trump. Just wait and see, gentlemen. The comeback is going to be massive and ain't f***ing with you both. You know, Donald, there's a line we shouldn't cross, even in jest. I mean, a president who's a killer, a criminal. Bro, we even have a copy of your mugshot that should be even your campaign picture. That's some heavy stuff. I'd rather not have a leader who's on a first-name basis with every scandal in the book. Oh, Joe, always playing the moral compass, but let's be real. Wouldn't you rather have a president with a sharp mind than one whose greatest decision of the day is choosing between Rocky Road and vanilla ice cream flavors? I mean, come on, we're talking about leading the free world, not a dessert buffet and gobbling on Cheetos all day. Well, Donald, at least when I make a choice, it's sweet and satisfying. Can't say the same for some of your, let's call them executive decisions. And hey, don't knock the Cheetos. They've got more substance than some of your policy proposals. I've got plans, big plans, the kind that goes beyond snack preferences. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's keep the snacks out of this. And Donald, while your plans are always, how should I put it? Grandiose, let's remember we're not on The Apprentice. The stakes are a bit higher. Barack, you of all people should know that I don't play small ball. And Joe, as for being a criminal, well, I'd rather be a rogue with flair than a saint with no flair at all. At least people remember the rogues. True, Donald, true, but remember, they also remember the clowns and not always fondly, but hey, if the circus fits. Can you two cut it out for just one minute? Tell this few. Shut the f up, Biden. I have had it with the two of you. Now, where the heck is that remote? This place is like a museum, too many hiding spots. Looking for your remote or your sense of diplomacy, Donald? We came here for a TV remote. Wait, I gotta check something. In an astonishing turn of events, Queen Elizabeth and President Putin have arrived in the USA for a two-day visit, staying at the luxurious Ritz-Carlton. Yes, you heard it right, Queen Elizabeth and President Putin, together in the USA, sparking a whirlwind of speculation and... Let's be honest, a fair bit of head scratching. So what brings this unlikely pair together on American soil? The world watches with bated breath. Is this a diplomatic rendezvous is or something more personal? What the f are you seeing this? Well, Donald looks like your nemesis decided to crash your party. How's that for a plot twist? Did you see them dancing like they're at a high school prom? This is just yuck nauseating. Was Putin doing the cha cha? I didn't know he had it in him. Liz and Putin in the US and just when Donald was plotting his grand revenge, you can't make this stuff up, no way. We need to get over there. This is our chance to confront our adversaries. Confront them with what, Donald, your dance moves? Oh dear, Biden, always a knucklehead. We're going to the Ritz-Carlton and we're going to show them who's boss. This is our turf. From the Oval Office to the dance floor, huh? This should be interesting. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? I'm in it for the diplomatic intrigue, but something tells me we're more likely to end up on a best bloopers reel. It's showtime, boys. Who is excited as I am? Just when I thought retirement was going to be boring. Politics, it seems, is the gift that keeps on giving. Of all the people in the world, Putin decides to woo the queen. The first me talk about an odd couple. What's his game? Trying to charm his way into Buckingham Palace with a box of chocolates and a bouquet? Joe, remember, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Maybe Putin's found his match in royal elegance. After all, who are we to judge the mysterious ways of the heart? Or in this case, the equally mysterious strategies of diplomacy. Yuck, that's one diplomatic romance I'd rather not picture. Next thing you know, they'll be sharing caviar and crumpets by the Thames. No, there's got to be more to it. Putin's a sly one, he's always playing chess while the rest of us are playing checkers. Maybe he's trying to get the queen on his side, win over the Brits with some royal charm offensive. Well, if it's a charm offensive, let's hope he's got more up his sleeve than judo moves and bare-chested horse riding. The queen's standards are a tad higher than that? Exactly. If Putin thinks he can sway the queen with some KGB-flavored sweet talk, he's got another thing coming. Her Majesty's seen more than her fair share of world leaders come and go. We need to intervene, disrupt this little teddy-a-tete before Putin puts his plan into action. 
It's time for some good old-fashioned American ingenuity presidential style. And by presidential style, you mean swapping our limo for something less. Presidential? What are we going for? A minivan? A Prius. I can see it now. Three former presidents rolling up in a compact car ready to save the world from an international dating disaster. Exactly. Something inconspicuous. Putin won't know what hit him when we crash his date. We'll be like the three musketeers, but with better hair. Well, as long as we're not dueling with baguettes, I'm in. But let's keep it classy, gentlemen. We're here to prevent a diplomatic faux pas, not star in a sitcom. Agreed. But if we're going undercover, can we at least agree on no code names? I'm still trying to forget Diamond Joe from our last escapade. No promises, Joe, but one thing's for sure Putin and the Queen won't know what's coming. It's time for some presidential intervention Trump style. So what's the master plan, Donald? Are we going full spy thriller here? We'll play it by ear, Barack. First things first, I need a vantage point. Somewhere I can get the lay of the land, keep an eye on the hotel. Then we'll decide how to send them to a better place, so to speak. Ooh, I've got an idea. How about we hit up a local bakery? I'll grab some muffins for the Queen. Nothing wins hearts like freshly baked goods, right? Joe, you've officially lost it. We're trying to disrupt a potential diplomatic disaster, not cater a tea party. Stick to the script, will you? What's the matter, Joe? Trying to get in on the action? Planning to charm the queen with your muffin selection? Hey, everybody loves muffins, Barack, and who knows, maybe a little baked goods diplomacy is just what we need to lighten the mood. This isn't a bake sale, Joe. It's serious business. We need stealth precision and a bit of that Trump flair. No muffins involved. Well, if we're going for stealth, maybe we should reconsider our approach. I mean, Donald, you're not exactly inconspicuous. And Joe, well, you're about as subtle as a parade float. Come on, Barack, a little charm offensive never hurt. Plus, it's hard to be mad at someone when you're enjoying a delicious muffin, right? No muffins, no charm offensive. We need a solid plan, something huge, something that'll really make a splash. Just remember, we're here to prevent a scandal, not start one. Let's keep it classy, gentlemen. No theatrics, no baked goods, and definitely no huge splash. Biden, all right, all right, no muffins. But I'm telling you, if things go south, I'm breaking out the pastries. Fine, Joe, keep a muffin in your pocket if it makes you happy. But when it's go time, we need to be ready for anything. Well, gentlemen, let's get to our vantage point. And remember, we're doing this for America, for democracy. And maybe, just maybe, for a muffin. For America and muffins, then. Let's roll out. America muffins and a dash of Trump. Let's do this. The spot I have in mind is just around the corner. Prime real estate for a bit of presidential reconnaissance. But first, we need a parking spot that's as incognito as we are well, as incognito as former world leaders can be. Incognito, huh? In this car, we might as well be rolling up in a parade float. What's the plan, Donald? Hide in plain sight? Yeah, Donald, maybe we should have gone with Joe's bakery idea. At least we could have pretended to be delivery guys. Now, there's a cover story for you. This is it, gentlemen, our command center. From here, we watch, we wait, and we plan our next move, like chess masters or people who are really, really invested in a very bizarre game of checkers. Now, where are those two strutting around the USA like they own the place? Who do they think they are? Wong Trump, you do realize the queen is like 10 times richer than you, right? She could buy the whole of the USA and turn it into her personal golf course. I don't care about her pocket change, Barack. There they are, those two suckers. I'm about to unfriend them permanently. Do we really need to go through with this? I mean, I could just call in a drone. Much cleaner, less drama. Stay out of this, Obama. This is personal. They've tarnished my brand, and now they'll face the ultimate customer service complaint. Here goes nothing. No, oh my God, not the queen. What have you done, Donald? She was a global icon, a symbol of, of, I don't know, British stuff. Guys, guys, we could just talk this out over some ice cream. No need for permanent solutions to temporary problems, right? Sorry, Joe, no time for desserts. No time to mourn. We have a 2024 campaign to plan and the world won't save itself from greatness. Damn, Donald, you've got some serious balls taking out the queen like that. That's one for the history books or at least a Netflix special. I do what I gara do, Barack. Nobody messes with Donald J. Trump. That's right, Donald J. fucking Trump. Point taken, Donald. But what now? We can't just hang around like we're waiting for a bus. We need to move fast, clean up the operation. No witnesses, no loose ends. Those bodyguards, they need to disappear, like my tax returns. Trump, you're colder than my freezer back home. How can you be so heartless and ruthless? That just irks me, man. Joe, I'm as relentless as a telemarketer at dinner time. And don't you start on me. Weren't you the one backing Israel as it bombed Gaza to ashes? If a Jew votes for you in 2024, they might as well need to visit a mental hospital. Gentlemen, maybe we can tone down the world domination vibe a notch? We're sounding like villains. Maybe we need a new approach. Like what would Michelle do, Barack? She'd probably tell us to get our act together and start solving problems with more brain and less. Whatever this is. Brain's overrated. What we need is action. And I'm all about the action, like Rambo. More like Rambo meets The Apprentice. Let's just figure out our next move before CNN turns this into a mini-series, okay? All right, team, let's get tactical. Time to clean house like it's spring cleaning at Mar-a-Lago. Well, at least we're keeping things interesting. But seriously, Donald, are we now in the body relocation business? Barack, in the art of deal-making, you've got to be ready to shuffle the deck. And right now, I'm the dealer. 
And here I thought we were playing checkers, not 3D chess with people's lives. Joe, you've got to stop bringing a knife to a gunfight. This is the big leagues. Time to play ball or go home. I think we veered way off the playbook, folks. We're in uncharted territory here, like Columbus. Can we at least agree that no more assassinations? We're politicians, not hitmen. Fine, Joe, we'll keep it clean. But I'm telling you, if we don't play hardball, we're just going to be footnotes in the history books. I'd rather be a footnote than the headline of the world's most wanted list, Donald. Focus, people. Let's get rid of this baggage and then we can talk policy or golf or whatever it is we do. You know, even in the world of hypotheticals, we could have at least considered a proper burial. They were world leaders, not yesterday's takeout. Proper burial? What is this, a Jane Austen novel? We're not here to be polite, we're here to be efficient. Are you boys ready? Ready for what? Time to take out the trash. Jump when I say so. Uh, 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 wow, that was exciting. Job well done, job well done, Trump. Boys, boys, are you okay? Trump, Trump, there's being efficient, and then there's being heartless. Even my dog gets a decent goodbye. Oh, come on, Obama, what are you going to do? Write a stern letter to the unethical treatment of hypothetical corpses committee. It's about dignity, Donald. Remember that thing we used to talk about before Twitter became the law of the land? Dignity doesn't win elections, Barack, and it sure as heck doesn't solve our current logistical challenges. Trump, what the fuck is wrong with you? There's got to be a line, Donald. Even in satire, there's a line. Lines are for people who can't handle the truth, and right now, the truth is in the trunk. I'm starting to think the real truth is that we've lost our minds. Next thing you know, we'll be taking out every single person who wrongs you, bro. And what's up with the knife? As you have said, I'll be taking out every person who wrongs me, so let's start with you. 